Hello friends, uh, once again we are back on our section of English. Today we are going to introduce a completely new one topic that is of writing skills. See, I purposely have taken this topic uh, in between because uh, we already have started with our textbook, no doubt. But as I have gone through your some writing skills that I had given you in the test, I have found certain uh, mistakes or uh, such kind of silly mistakes are there which you easily can avoid and you can uh, pile up, you can com uh, compile your writing uh, write up in a very decent and in a professional way. Here, for our 10th standard, there are totally 5 writing skills that you are going to deal with. Before this, you need to understand that writing professionally, writing very and precisely, precise writing is very very important. You must be apt into that. Unless and until your for formation of sentences, grammatical things, your uh, structure of your writer, these all things are going to matter a lot. That's why it is very important to practice writing skills time and again, time and again, continuously is also very important. I am stressing this point again and again to practice, practice, practice and practice. Only this can make you perfect. So here, here uh, today we are going to start with our first one lecture of writing skills and into that we are going to see letter writing. Okay, friends, as you are aware about letter writing, you have been writing letters since many years. But still, still I have noted and found many mistakes in your writing writers. Here, there are good letters also. I am not saying that all are faulty. No, there are some good letters also. But surely we will be discussing when you will come back. But till now, uh, let us discuss for letter writing as there are two types of letters in English. Number one, that is formal letter and B is informal. Okay, what are this? Formal letter and informal letter. In formal letter, we can include business letters then <coughs> professional letters order okay means overall we can say all official letters these letters have a certain criteria or a format. Okay. You have to be very compact into these letters. You cannot be informal. While teaching the while discussing all type, those types of letters, I will be telling what to write and what not to write. Because many times we become so much informal that the person to the opposite side feels like he belongs to your family. No. In professional letters, you cannot be familiar with the person. Right? Okay. Now, in formal letter, all friendly letters means written to Friends, parents, relatives, or a pen friend. You might be knowing this concept, pen friend. Pen friend is a person whom you have not met, but you are 
you know each other with correspondence means by delivering by sending the letters to each other he might be from the same country or from other country from the same state or from the other state from the same district or from the other district so these are the letters which are written or known as pen friend pen friend letter to a pen friend relatives parents friends etc all these letters are included into informal letters and these are the formal letters so kindly write these types in your notebook very important one thing you have to place two notebooks or you can make different part also okay so this part one part will be devoted for your textual write up that is question answer that we have seen second part will be for grammar okay or you can that's why i said you can place two notebooks 100 100 pages no problem for 100 pages you set it for you place it only for textual write up writing question answers and so on and another one notebook will be for writing skills and grammar which will be the only notebook wherein you will write all writing skills and grammar also you can make two parts into that one part is for grammar one part is for writing skills okay so this is very important so see don't please this is a kind request to all you that don't make a bhel puri of that notebook means uh, textual question answers are in the same notebook grammar in between in between writing skills somewhere as the appears the poetic devices the central idea theme determining all are mixed up you will not understand anything kindly make separate notebooks and let the things be separated in a very decent way don't mix up the things you yourself will get confused and you won't understand anything at the 11th hour you won't get anything what is needed for the exam so make different notebooks and make part into that and i have to grammar part at one side writing skills at one side and one notebook specifically for textbook textual write up question answers okay fine now friends so this is how the uh, types of the letters you are supposed to write these types like this first of all i am going to give you the structure of both the letters means formal as well as informal let us discuss first formal letter structure i am ready this imagine this is your page this is your page that is of answer sheet now uh, in olden times we can say now uh, that uh, the addresses were written in a uh, traditional way means to the right side it was the sender's address to the left it was the address of the receiver then the salutation then subject then so on but now this trend has been changed okay according to the new trend you can write your own address first of all own address fine this let this address be very small then the receiver's address okay this behind this here you need to mention date also now writing date is also very important now you cannot write simply into the digits 
you have to place it in words just like this so today is 7th June 2020 write like this okay 7 June 2020 okay now this is the receiver's address this address must be uh, as uh, if the address is given in the question then you can copy as it is otherwise you have to make the address imaginary one okay? then don't write date here no date in the receiver's address then after finishing this you can leave one line over here also okay leave one line so that it will be separated then after this here salutation respected sir or madam write one of this not both sir or madam don't write this either sir or madam then see this is how the salutation will appear after this address here you will suppose this address has been finished over here and just stop one thing here you have to write the subject just at the end subject so and so whatever it is then here salutation respected sir or And start your subject making a path. Fine. Make the second one para. Finish your letter into these paras, two paras only. Okay. Once you are done, end it saying thanking you. Okay. And at the end. <coughs> Yours sincerely like this. Yours sincere. See what things we have uh, seen. First of all, sender's address that the person who is writing the letter. Second is the receiver's address to person who we are sending the letter. Third, it is subject. Underline it very properly, mention the subject very precisely. See, subject does not mean a full sentence, two, three lines. No. Subject must be very precise, very short one and meaningful. It can be a phrase also. Suppose you are writing an application letter. So, you can say simply application for so and so. Okay, like this. If you are demanding a checkbook from your bank, so requesting for checkbook like this. Okay, so subject must be very precise, short but meaningful. Then salutation, respected sir or madam, either of this, not both. Say either sir or madam, anything you can say. Then give comma and write in parents. You can start from uh, margin also according to the new trade it is seen that the letters are set to be right, uh, right from the margin itself so it is a new trend but you can start with the para as well there is no any restrictions as such so it is very easy at the end thanking you you were sincerely fine you can write your name also there there are many uh, Rumors that writing the name is seen as a copied and all these things. No, your identity is completely secret. Writing your name in the letter does not mean you are revealing your identity. No, not at all. You can write your name, but write the same name as you have written in the sender's address at the end. Fine. So this is how the structure of the formal letter is. So just mention this. Okay. See it properly and copy it as it is. Now, 
structure of informal network. It is very simple. Senders address then let this address be very short one here date at the end in the same way 7 June 2020 finish your address then dear as this is the formal letter, so you can uh, in salutation place dear. If you are writing a letter to your elder brother, elder sister, you, are, you can say dear B. Okay, or bro, or something like that. New traditions are there. Okay, or you can also say Tana or Same pharma must be there. You can say dad or mom like this. If you are writing a letter to your friend, you can directly write the friend's name. Dear whatever it is. Dear Santosh. Fine. Give comma. Directly start with your subject. Don't get the things here and there. Start your subject and let this writing be continuous. End your subject and once you have ended, convey your regards to your friends, parents also. If you are uh, writing the letter from your hostel, then convey your regards uh, to your parents, own parents and your elder siblings. Okay, then at the end, yours loving me. If you are writing letter to your mom, dad, then son. Okay, your name. If you are writing to your, if you are writing the letter to your elderly brother or sister, you are lovingly uh, brother. Okay, or if your nickname, if you have any nickname, you can write that also and uh, sign. Sign means write just name, whatever mention you have mentioned in the sender's address. Okay, that. That's it. Okay, this is how the informal letter will appear. You can write in detail in informal, but not informal letter. This is the difference, basic difference. You can be, you have to be very professional into formal letters and uh, unprofessional into these informal letters because you are writing this letter to a person whom you know okay that's why you can be very informal into that but not in the formal letter you cannot say how are you sir have you taken your lunch like that such questions i have seen such silly questions they do ask kindly do not do this because professional letters must be professional only. Okay, fine. So write down this structure in your notebook. Just a simple outline you can draw. Okay, and as per the need, you can uh, greet the person saying anything from this. Commas are very important. Then after that, you have to give full stop. Don't mention. Uh, don't forget this. Fine. So this is how the informal letter will appear. So make an outline of this one letter in your notebook. Okay. subject to you to write one letter and writing this subject on the board just uh, write as it is and keep this letter ready in your notebook when I'll demand the notebooks at that time you have to submit it see we are going to ask for the notebooks once we have done with few chapters from our textbook 
and along with that notebook you have to submit this writing skill. Don't be in hurry. Uh, let us complete the, some chapters from the text and along with that completion you can submit this letter as well. Okay, so write down this subject. Write a letter to your pen friend telling him or her about the Ganesh Chaturthi celebration in your city. Invite him or her for the same. So you have to give a detailed account how do you celebrate the Ganesh Chaturthi in your city or in your home also. And you have to invite your pen friend. I have made very clear this concept that is of pen friend. This is a person whom you are acquainted with. You are familiar with, but both of you have not met physically ever. So you just have, you are just friend by the correspondence, and you have to tell the entire information about this celebration, and you have to invite him or her for that celebration as well to your home. Fine. So that's it for the so this uh, practice letter. This is definitely going to be an informal letter. Formal letter, I'll give you next time. Not an issue, but do complete it on time. Don't get the things piled up, don't keep it pending. 